Well, I mean, I really enjoyed the book. I, I just felt like at the end, I wasn't sure, like, there wasn't, like, a conclusion that wrapped it all up. Like, what do you think after all your life experience? Like, I totally respect your opinion so much because of, like, everything, your education and, and being a front man of a band. Like, what do you think it all meant? Like, how do you want this book to inspire other people? Like, is it just mostly perseverance or is there more lessons? That's a really good question. And um, it's a very, uh, you know, after you've read the book, um, you may have to, you may have to sift through it again, because there is there is a deeper and a persistent theme to the book. Um, and that is that when you ultimately, you know, everyone's in the process through life of defining themselves. You know, trying to understand yourself. If you can't understand yourself, you really can't understand anything in the world. And that's something that I hope is not lost in the future, you know, because to know thyself is the ultimate knowledge. But in order to do that is a very difficult thing. And I, I couched it in the search or the quest for understanding um, the origin of punk as a culture and myself in that in that cultural milieu. And, you know, I did actually summarize it uh, in the last pages when I said that, you know, in order to do that, you're going to have to identify the original punk. Who was it? Who's the original punk? And I said that the search for that, that's where the, the real quest in life is the, is the journey, the search. And that's what we should celebrate. Because luckily, especially with punk, um, that journey will lead to good things. And the good news is that the extinction of punk, that is the death of the, you know, the end of the journey is nowhere near in sight. 